In this fancy slide design, I want to teach you how to make slides where you want to present several steps of something, like three steps, four steps, making separate boxes for each step and making it work with the entire composition and the presentation itself. The next slide will be very interesting. We'll once again select a photograph for the entire background and now it's again completely up to you. I've been looking and I, since I personally very like snowboard, I wanna go with this and this photograph will also set the initial composition for us because we have space on the top, space on the left side and the right corner is already used. We can of course overlay him with something, but I believe this sets a really nice composition for us. So let's go to insert shapes and start right away. I'll make one shape here on the top side to, to place some text and make the initial text in this presentation. Of course, as always, we'll select no outline and for the shape fill, well, we could use the blue color we had before or simply go with something dark. I'll select a dark blue like we have here, dark grayish blue, right click, format shape and I'll work with the transparency. I want this to be transparent, but dark enough so white text will be visible. Once I'm ready with this, I'll go to the first slide and I borrow the text we prepared previously because we don't have to prepare text always manually. Okay, but that's too big. I don't want it to be bold. I want it to be uppercase because this will be like a title. Change the text to anything you see fit like steps to a step like steps to a healthy lifestyle I really don't believe I'm writing this. This looks like a shabby article. How to get better in 60 minutes, no effort whatsoever. I copy the same text box under it. I make it, of course, lowercase, steps to a healthy lifestyle, blah, blah, blah. Maybe I copy this. This is, of course, just an example. Okay. We have our main text and tagline. This should be smaller because we always want to make sure the composition is properly set. Now here we want to do something really fancy and interesting. We will later see if the coloristic is all right, but I will go to insert shapes. I will select a rectangle shape, a shape like this with this kind of look, okay, where we can adjust two corners of it. You can decide which corners to work with, either the left or right corners. Let's say I will stay with these, to make sure it looks better, I select no outline and now we can roll with this color. I believe we want to make it like three steps. So copy it two times over. Make sure it's not too big. So the composition looks okay as is. I see by mistake I've put some text in here. Okay. You can also make sure that they are equally distributed by going to Format, Align and distribute them horizontally. This will make sure that everything looks perfectly symmetrical to each other. As for the coloristic, the first one, the first color, the second color and the third color. Light, darker, darker. And it will be a bit transparent. So I will select the yellow color we had previously and perhaps I will roll with the same color on all of these objects, but by going to format shape, I make the transparency here to 50%, here to 40%, or maybe that's too much, I see, 30, okay. And maybe 20 or 50. And this gives me a really unique look between them. Now here comes the part where you have to think about the coloristic of the entire slide. Maybe this is a bit too bright, so I notch the transparency just a bit to the left so it's darker and it stands out more from the steps. Now I want to fill those objects as well, that's why I select some icons. It can be the same icons I've used previously, that's absolutely no problem because I want to distribute them one icon for each object. I'll resize them accordingly. I will place them in the according places and this will be the basis for this design. Now the rest is a matter of placing some text on the boxes. 
Of course, this color should be dark, like, like black or something bluish grayish, which will work along with this. Smaller, maybe less text would be better, okay. Let's adjust this, okay, bigger, one notch bigger, wider, okay. Copy it over to the other objects and make sure you will group everything. I'll group this, the shortcut is Ctrl G, select this, you can also right click group group. Select group. Now we have the steps prepared. You see, something is missing and if you want to be consistent overall in designing and presentations, I look on the previous slide and I immediately see that we used such a line. You can simply use the same line and put it here. Now watch how it nicely fulfills the entire design. Now of course, I'll adjust the placing a little bit because it's way off now, but you need to make sure that you also group this. You always have to group it so it's easier to edit later. If I want to shift something later, for example, down, middle, up, this would be no problem just grabbing it. Since it's grouped, it will move together. You can select each object later separately and edit it. And this is how we would approach a slide design with several steps across it.